well lucky him to be here in the city of Bell because first of all, we don't have a lot of money to open a place on, on the other side of the city. And we also wanted to be part of our community. We wanted to offer our cuisine, our culture, and our traditions to them. So they can experience the flavor of the Mexican culture. As it is, it's very difficult to start your business. With things like this that are happening with these lawsuits, it's stopping everything from growing. And one day I got the email and I just found this letter. According to this person, he claimed on the letter that he came on a wheelchair and he went into the restroom twice. He checked our mirror and some other stuff and that's when he claimed that we caused him pain and suffering. Handicapped people are very welcome and we have trained our people to go out of their way to help them. We couldn't understand it. We couldn't understand it. And so who came and talked to the person right here? They say, no, we don't record this person came. So we had cameras and he never showed up that day. He wasn't at the videos, he wasn't nothing. We were amazed once we got the information from our lawyer to see the count of places that were being affected by this person. And someone just came here with 500 cases. Come on, a lot of restaurateurs, they call us, oh, we had the same problem, we had the same problem, we had the same problem. But they are targeted only on small businesses and especially on Latino communities. The people that are in conjunction with this are abusing our system. Once uh, we presented the evidence uh, to our lawyer, he talked to his lawyer and he dropped the case because he had no grounds to fight. As Latinos, we have an obligation to continue with our traditions and also to be part of this country as hard-working people and people that have a lot to offer. I love Los Angeles. I was born in Mexico, but this is my land now. <laughs> this is our city. We know a lot of people here. It is a, a struggle to make it. A lot of businesses are closed. Like this store, it was here for, I don't know, 30 years or something, and they closed down the businesses. With this economy and facing all these problems, like lawsuits. That money has to go for the lawyers, that money goes to that end. What's gonna happen? You want to end up closing your business, and we don't want to happen, not only to La Casita Mexicana, Ramiro and Jaime, we don't want that to happen to anyone. And to your left, it's our beautiful La Casita, La Casita Mexicana, our bread and butter.